it's hard to distinguish what Emma's um, personal qualities are when you just see her sitting in her wheelchair because she hasn't got a lot of obvious ways of showing you what's the girl behind this, this person sitting there. She is very peaceful, she's very happy, she's good natured, she is um, loving to everyone, she doesn't discriminate between anyone. I had a virus during my pregnancy called toxoplasmosis, which I didn't even know I had. And it wasn't until Emma was diagnosed that I was told that I had that. Before I had Emma, I would meet with my sister and um, a friend, and we were all having our second children at the same time. And we talked about this, would we have a, uh, what if we had a child with a disability? And I remember being a little bit blasé about it and saying, well, you just have to accept it and get on with it. But basically, that's what you do. It was my choice to have a baby, it was not her choice to be born. And so you do whatever you do for your children. And I did become upset. I was really troubled about it for a while, but I didn't ever not love her. I loved her right from the word go. And um, she was, um, very special and um, so I just um, I could just somehow put it in perspective I guess and um, realized that she needed to um, be cared for just as much as anyone else. She's very peaceful, graceful, always beautiful, always beautiful to be around. She is always I guess brings us all a bit down to earth and grounds us a lot and brings us all together. Um, she's incredibly patient um, tolerant. She's just amazing, really. She's just the core of our family and, and, and the rock in our family and she's wonderful. She's great to have around, she's really social, she loves to get out and so she's just a joy to be around all the time. I think that's a really difficult balance um, for parents who have someone with extra needs. It's amazing the way they seem to have done it, it's just we never felt as though Emma had extra time. Um, we never felt that we were neglected as a result of her and I don't believe she would say the other way. I think it's always been important to us to have a so-called normal family, um, to just provide for all of our three children. Um, there was no way that one of them was going to outdo the others. And so they all had their needs, they all had their challenges and so therefore it was up to us as the adults and the parents who loved them that uh, we were the ones to take care of those needs. And so um, we were just like a normal family in so many ways because... We just drove a bus with a wheelchair in the back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my role is more about the, the, the physical needs that Emma has. So it's about providing for uh, transport, so looking after the vehicle, looking after her wheelchair and being the wheelchair mechanic when that's needed. Um, and um, the heavy lifting around the house, so there are times when Emma needs to be lifted and moved and positioned, and particularly when it's at waist level or below, Ron doesn't have the strength to do that anymore. So, at the moment I still do, uh, when I don't, we'll see what happens. But. She does a lot of programs, the activities, I mean, she goes in the drama program and the, she likes all these movements, disco dance and music. We help people with the severe intellectual and the complex needs. This was a person center plan and we have so much activity. We, I love, I personally, I love working at Minimba too. And the people and the atmosphere, the, my staffs are very enthusiastic and caring and um, patient. She has taught me a lot about life. She's shown me that people are worth a lot, no matter how well they communicate, how well they can get the message across, what they mean or what they feel. And she can't do a lot of that, but she has taught me that people are valuable no matter what.